Video recorder, which does video as well. So it's, it's recording. Councillor Nunonga, whose daughter is undergoing an MRI today, um, and uh, the world is not particularly good for poor Tua and his family, so I don't see the responsibility to share, but certainly apologise. Councillor Bell? Um, I have to read that.
just as the world is moving fast, and just for your information, uh, an email which has uh, just come across um, my desk this morning, which will be interesting, a $25 million boost for cycle tyre training in the regions, offering an opportunity for Rotorua to add to its significant cycling network has announced. Rotorua MP Todd McClay said that the extra money announced by the Prime Minister John Key could mean that the Rotorua 74km National Cycleway could be linked to the 103 Waikato River Trail via wow. a link between Pataruru and Mamaku. And so... 25 million. Pardon? 25 million. 25 million. It's a bit hard to see the trails down south. Yeah. yeah. There's, Some only, of that. there's only 10 million left mm. after, after oh, seeing the is, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Todd yeah. McClay believes that, OK, he's got his fingers into that there. And from Neil Offit, uh, he said that he met with a group of Maori landowners, trustees and lawyers to get agreement to be constructed over their land. Yes, full support. So it is good to see that there, and just as a, a matter of interesting, I pulled out some information on that rail trail that we talked, and uh, on the 5th of August 2009, we started working on it from our end, and so all good things come to those who eventually wait. So that uh, there was the map that we produced in 2009 to start looking at it all. Um, and it has sort of hesitated a little bit because of lack of funding, but uh, if we have Todd McClay uh, believing that Dirk, Steve Chadwick is on site, and we have been working there and driving away, but that looks like some good news for us anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you wish if I saw a program that would have been the other day the Prime Minister, Minister of Tourism, um, offering um, money to uh, fund mm -hmm. infrastructure to do with toilets and things like that yeah. because Very of the uh, influx of yeah. um, tourists. So I was just wondering if because of the TY whether we will be able to tap into some of that for the White Square Investment. We will be attempting to do that as we come to the TY yeah. 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 discussions tomorrow. Yeah, we're currently investigating how we can we get more of the So today we now you know, go through our hearings. We've got a full day today. You have in front of you the, uh, that there were some gaps that we could have done. Uh, my intention is that we will just go through this. Each person we can see has got 15 minutes and no more than 15 minutes to spend as they like. That what will take place is that uh, if they wish to speak for 10 minutes and then have some questions, that's fair enough, but if they speak for that 15 minutes there will be no time for questions. We have a tight schedule and we will be you know, keeping to that as we go through. Um, we will listen, ask questions, it's not a time to argue, debate, we are there for that. And then tomorrow afternoon we will start going through to do uh, deliberations, recognising that uh, uh, Mr. Smith will be here tomorrow as we do those deliberations. And as you say yes, because yes is a lovely thing to say to people, you will see the, the rate effect go up. So that, sir. Just a couple of questions, Your Worship. Um, so we'll be sticking very closely as, as possible to the time frame for each submitter. Yes. And secondly, um, if, if a submitter annoys me when a submitter goes off track and starts talking about things that are not part of their submission. What is our role there if a submitter goes off their submission onto another point? Are we able to um, are we able to stop the person from going down the track that's not part of their submission? This is a, a difficult one because the 15 minutes we grant is their time and we have received their submissions, they're told to talk to their submissions if they wish to go off and waste time over there. My regard is I completely disregard that part there because we will be deliberating upon their submission and they will talk to their submission. If they want to talk about the state in Syria for their 15 minutes, well, good, they've wasted their time and they haven't added anything to 